Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of SevTech Ages. So, I know last episode was a little rushed, so I want to apologize first and foremost for that. Um, I just wanted to get that done with because I know it would be a little tedious to go and find that, and we happened to find it uh, where we least expected it. So, it was also more of a traveling and exploration episode, so... If you skipped over that one and came to this, can't blame you, but today we are actually going to get a good amount of stuff done. So I've actually been going for probably about an hour or so now already, and uh, I got a lot of our materials all prepped and ready to go so we don't have to spend time on camera doing that. So we are continuing with Abysmal Craft because that is what the achievement listing has is going next. And so... We had set up our altars. We had this one, which I had thought we put the statues on, but I was incorrect. This is for, excuse me, performing rituals. Let me take a sip of my water here. I do have coffee as well. I hope you all have uh, some drinks and snacks to keep you occupied during this episode. There, my throat a little bit there. But yes, this altar is used for rituals, as you can tell. What I wanted to do was get an altar for charging our Necronomicon. So I got our pillars together. I had to go out and get some more stone, monolith stone. And if we go in here, I marked it over here. Um, I realized that we had accidentally been doing this and I was a little confused on its purpose, but this is so you can bookmark it so you don't have to continuously type it to find it. So uh, what you do is you get whatever item you want, for me, the default key binding is to hit A. So let's say I want to track a bronze pickaxe. I hit A. It pops up over here. And regardless of what screen I go to, get back, there we go. Back over here, we can still come over here and see the recipe for it. So, and then you just hit A over that item <clears throat> again to get rid of it. But I marked our two abysmal craft items we wanted to get. We needed eight of these monolith stones. You just take four of the monolith stone, put it together, and you get the stone pillar. So eight of those, and then the energy pedestal. So we had plenty of monolith stone after we went and collected some more. We needed a shadow gem and then our Carillium pearl, which we found the Carillium last episode. The, and um, what I did is I took the Carillium gem and what you have to do is lump it into a gem cluster. And then from there, you surround it by eight um, cooked stone, so you can't use cobblestone, you have to use normal stone around it, like so, and it'll give you the infused stone, and then you take that, and you stick it in the furnace, or whatever you feel like putting it in, cook it up, and it'll get you the pearl, and then you use the pearl in conjunction with these items to make our energy pedestal. I did have to go back to the Badlands to get our shadow gem, um, what I ended up doing was just getting these shards from the easier to kill mobs and then pressing them down using our horse press back at the base. So easy enough to get all done. If we have everything together, I'm going to place this bad boy down. I don't know if we have to shift right click or anything like that. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Give me that back. Put that back over there. Um, you probably have noticed I did craft up some bronze armor for myself and then I had enough wolf pelts and... Uh, other items to make this wolf hood and it was easy to make so we're kind of looking a little bit strange with our armor here I was able to pick up some more statues as well so we have plenty to fill all of our spots here so I'm just gonna place these bad boys around I think they yep they're all normal statues I just want to make sure that none of the that I don't have any of the um, decorative ones this bad boy. Is this the same? It looks kind of like the same. Ooh, okay. Already doing stuff. Get that bad boy there, that bad boy there. And then we do have our two more. One there, and then one there. So cool. It is charging up the pedestal. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Give me that back, por favor. There we go. And hit the wrong thing every single time. So let's not have that on. Can we like shift look at this? No. So 
we have our Necronomicon here. It will charge this up. If you did look, maybe the recipe will show it. It does hold 5,000 potential energy on its own, which is cool. And then the Necronomicon holds 5,000 as well. So basically, <clears throat> this will store a back charge of one full charge on your Necronomicon, which is pretty nice. So if you run low, you have an instant backup right away. So this will always continuously charge things. So let's put the Necronomicon there, back up a little bit. That'll charge it up. Unfortunately, we can't tell if it's charged up, but we're going to leave it there for a moment. Um, because I did make the charging pedestal, I did get this advancement, which is not the main one, but we needed to charge your Necronomicon. You can either stand in range of statues holding the book or craft a pedestal to place the book on. Make sure the statues are three blocks from the pedestal at the same height. So that is exactly what we did three blocks on it exactly it's not three blocks and then it's on the fourth it's three blocks on on that third block exactly like how we created this altar over here so we have that all set up now if we look at our next progression which is really the main one we are going for um, to advance to the next age we want to get to the beneath so use abysmal craft ritual to create the beneath teleporter Remember to have PE in your Necronomicon before starting the ritual. Place the Beneath Teleporter and enter the dimension. So, if we go back, what did I do here? At, no, something happened. At, oh, I'm hitting the wrong button, that's why. At Abysmal Craft. Um, maybe we just look for Beneath. There we go. Here's the beneath teleporter. So we need a demonic will, dark oak fence gate, some more monolith stone, charcoal dust, gunpowder, and more monolith stone. And it only requires a thousand. So the demonic will um, is like how we got this. We had to use the snare to um, to get that demonic will. So. Oh wow, I guess some more trees grew up on the, the uh, top there. Um, I did craft some more torches and I placed those torches down. There's some piranhas out here. I thought I heard a piranha. So yeah. If we come back up into the base, I haven't done too much, but um, when I was out on my adventures, I did collect a few things. So I have a lot of charcoal going. I did not mean to do that. Um, the low grade charcoal is very useful for us. Uh, it has a good amount of burn time. I'm actually gonna take some of these because you know what? Let's just take all of this because uh, we're gonna get plenty of it. And since we automated all of this, it makes it so much easier to get the charcoal. I know it's not necessarily the most efficient. Um, ooh, okay, that thunder is part of uh, the side effects of Abysmal Craft over there. So because it's charging, lightning will strike over there. And that's why you want to kind of keep it far away. You'll have lightning strikes and you will also have um, some baddies potentially spawn. So we just want to uh, stay away from there. But yeah, as you can see, I, uh, I got a lot of wood. And then I also got, I found a yew um, tree. And so I really liked how the wood looked. So I just chopped it all up. Figured it would uh, be nice since we had basically gotten a whole stack of birch wood and like a ton of um ton of this dark wood dark lands wood so dark oaks wood so and you can see our inventory for our wood chest is just there's a ton we have so much oak wood cut up and everything like that i'm quite happy we also have the u log there that thunder is going to get really annoying i think it's only when it's charging we have the thunder strike so um, we'll just make sure we take it off of the charger so that it's uh, not continuously striking. But yeah, what did I come up here for again? I already forgot. So we need to get some of this stuff. We do need to create a trap. We do need to make the fence here. Oh, you can make a... Uh, oh, you can um, take apart a tall dark oak fence or just a tall fence in general and break it back down into two separate fences which is really nice
but yeah so we need to get some stuff together for this beneath teleporter um and it's pretty straightforward it's nice it lays it out right in here on how you set it up and i don't believe it matters in what order as long as oh we do need a blank teleporter how do we make this we will need another carillion pearl we'll need a tin block a bronze block and a block of copper two blocks of coal and then in a blood altar we'll have to put in another pearl so we'll need two pearls okay so we're going to need a lot of stuff for this and we need to get that okay coal dust do we need coal dust and stuff for this just black dye powder which we might actually have some black dye powder if i'm thinking correctly somewhere my chests are atrociously unorganized as you can tell um i will eventually clean them up though okay yeah i don't think i have any so what i will do is i will um get a lot of these next level materials together that we need and i will uh we'll kind of get the ball rolling with that so we will be back in just a minute all right guys we are back and unfortunately i've had no luck finding what we need so i was going to get everything together um for our ritual to get the uh, blank teleporter i believe right yes to well to get the beneath teleporter but we also needed to get the blank one and uh, i'm getting things together for this um so i pretty much have all of this stuff um except for this and unfortunately you need a tier 2 altar in order to get this so we're gonna have to upgrade our blood altar um and unfortunately uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to do that. So I'm trying to get everything we need together to do that. But from what I understand, we need these weak blood orbs to do it. And the best way to do that is to get the conglag... Un coagulated. I mess it up every time. Blood. And uh, put it in our tier 1 blood altar and make the weak blood orb. So we'll need a few of those. I think it's like 8 maybe. And... Um, so we need the we need the blood. And so the best way for us to do it is to uh, use our casting. So um, to cast it out into a uh, some kind of block and then break it down. And I was having trouble figuring out how to do it. But from my understanding, you can take rotten flesh, put it in this bad boy and it will melt into... Um, It'll melt into blood when it goes through. And hopefully this doesn't take too long to do. I don't know if you can use anything else other than rotten flesh. Uh, but that's what I read online that you could do. Now, another component of this, of our blank teleporter, was a bronze block. So if you guys uh, remember, in order to make bronze, we had to get our copper and tin, in tin ingots. Come over to our kiln, um, brick kiln over here. And you took, I think it was one tin and three copper. I think that was the ratio. I could be wrong on that. But you take the ratio of those bad boys and you will get, uh, you'll get copper here. Actually, I'll just look it up for us. Rather than giving you guys the wrong information. Actually, it's bronze. That's what I'm looking for. All right, bronze ingots. So in our alloy kiln, it's three copper, one tin. I don't even remember what I said, but that's what you need. And it will get you the ingots. And then what you need to do with those ingots is take them back over here, smelt them up, and then produce them into a copper or a bronze block. So now we have our bronze block. And like I said, we pretty much have most of everything that we need. I did get some more coal and we got two blocks of coal now because I was running a bit low. Now, unfortunately, the one thing I overlooked, which is probably one of the most simple things we needed for this, was this fence. I thought it was the, I thought it needed this, the Darklands oak wood. No, it does not. So what it needs is just dark oak wood. So we have to find dark oak wood. And surprisingly, it's one of the hardest things for me to find. There's a way you can do it in a cauldron with something, but we don't know what that is, unfortunately. We could do some straining and it gives us a chance to get it. But unfortunately, we don't know that strainer. We don't know that one. We do know this one, the survivalist one. Um, so let's actually look that up. So if 
we hit shift on this bad boy, there's a 15% chance of getting what we need from that. So we might put that together and let it sit for a while, but what I was doing in the meantime, let me actually, uh, let me mark that so I have it for later. What I was doing in the meantime was trying to go out because I know we had seen it before and I thought it was over in this direction, but uh, unfortunately I did not mark it and I can't remember where it was. And so originally what I decided to do instead of trying to traverse out there is I went down this way, kind of uh, this way, I went this way. And it doesn't look like a lot on the map, but it is quite far that we, we did go this way. And uh, I wasn't finding anything, so I backtracked up this way. And then I tried to go out here to find those, um, that dark oak out here somewhere. And I was unable to find it. I went all the way, where did I go? I think I went all the way out to about here. And I uh, had no luck, and so I just uh, traversed my way back. And I just had no luck. And um, I'm not super thrilled with the um, design or the layout or the generation, I should say, of the landscape for this mod pack. Because most of it is uh, the Badlands. That's all I've pretty much been finding is Badlands or um, kind of the, tun uh, not the Tundra, the uh, Acacia Woods. I've been finding a lot of those or our um, like colorful fall um, forests like over here. That's mainly what I've been finding, which is a bit of a bummer. So what I think I might do is, uh, we have traveled, I traveled a decent way that up that way. So what I might do is I might head out this way and see what I can find. If we can find anything out over this way, because we'd come over here to find the um, monoliths. We found them that way, but I didn't traverse too, too far that way. So we could, um, we could potentially go out there and see what we can find. So um that is what i am going to do i wanted to test out this blood though so i don't think it's going to give us enough you can do these but i think in order to get the blood uh we do not know that it's not what i needed i need to go back to the blood here we go you can pour it out into there it says but it doesn't say hmm. all right i'm gonna uh, you know what? What else do we have? Do we have anything else? We have some more rotten flesh. We could definitely use those. Because I think we need enough to do that. I don't know if you can use, like, um, a normal meat or anything in it. I'm 100% sure on that. We've cooked wolf meat in here. I did not know that. I also did kill a ton of cows where is it yeah i killed a ton of cows so uh we have plenty of meat for a while actually i'm gonna store a little bit more of that yeah because i just kept running across more and more and more cows so i just ended up killing a bunch of them so i think this stuff might work too we could try it um no it cannot be unfortunately okay does this have any uses to it uh, you can make that, you can use it in a mixer, and you can use it in rituals as well. Let's stick that bad boy away for a minute. Hmm. We could try meat, but most of what I have is cooked up, unfortunately. So, um, there's this. Can we use this? Let's try it. Why not? Nope, can't use that either. All right, give me that back. Um, all right, I guess we can just try the meat that we have. Nope, unfortunately, the mystery meat will not work. Do we have anything else we could use? Blood. 
Okay. It's only rotten flesh. Only you can only use rotten flesh to get it. Hmm, it's a bit of a bummer. We could go to our hunting world and get some uh, materials. <clears throat> I might end up doing that. Have anything cooking? No. I just had this, and unfortunately we can't use that. Um, okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll get some more materials together to try to find some dark uh, oak wood, and then I will be back with you guys in a little while, and hopefully we'll be able to progress, um, probably first with getting the blood altar upgraded, and then going and, uh, and getting our ritual done. So we will be back. All right, guys. So I... Um, I'm back, obviously. We did not go out to find the dark oak just yet because I was fiddling around with the blood altar stuff. So what I've realized is you can cook up, you need about 16 or so um, rotten flesh and that's all you can use. And you will get a block <clears throat> of the, uh, the blood. And then you can take that bl uh, block of blood, just throw it in a crafting table, and it will get you the coagulated blood. You take one of these bad boys, and you throw it in here, and it will give you the weak blood orb. Now, I took mine, and you just, I think you just right-click with it when you have it in you, and then it uh, assigns it to you. So, current odor is me. So... I also have been filling this up. You can see it's all the way to the top pretty much. And I have figured out how we make tier two. So we want to surround it with the uh, with eight blank ruins. So uh, I don't recall if the book said that or not. I was kind of looking up online on how to do it. Let's see. Upgrading your altar. Yep, you want blank ruins, which we show right here. Can't use those, but you can use... A weak blood orb like so i don't know if we need eight of them necessarily i think the one will work just fine uh, if we do need more we can um we can make some more obviously um so y'all can uh pause the video if you want to read through any of this but uh, this is the main stuff right here so to upgrade the altar you need uh, to second tier you need to place eight blood ruins around the altar and one level lower if you're confused about the precise configuration, the item Inspectorus Scandalidium can tell you the precise placement for blocks required, blah, blah, blah. So, we actually already have that all done. So basically, we'll just want to put three in the back there, three in the front, and one on each side, totaling eight. One level below this, that's exactly how we want it. And we just want to take these bad boys so you need to craft eight of them so you will need these blank slates which do take some time to make so to make the blank slate you just take your normal um, cooked stone not cobblestone it has to be normal stone like this you put it in the blood altar and you add blood to it you will need 16 of them to make enough because we do need eight of these and two on each side so 16 so if we shift click on this it's just going to take us some time to make them all. And it does appear you can use the same weak blood orb over and over again. Which is perfect, because it would have stunk to have to make eight of those. We would have had to get a lot more rotten flesh. And there we go. So that is our eight. We don't have any more. We had the perfect amount of stone for it. I was ready. So all we have to do now is come down here, six, seven, and eight. And that should make our tier two, which is perfect. It's exactly what we needed. I don't think, I think we are at the top. I don't think we can fill it up any more than what we have already. It's kind of hard to tell. I wish you could, but it's, uh, it's okay. So with that being done, we can throw this blood orb away for now. Where do I have those at? Right there. Um, and as you can see, I made a few of them just in case. Now what we need to do is take one of these bad boys and throw it on here. And you see the little animation for it. That means it is working, which is perfect. We did get our tier two before it was not giving those animations for us. So uh, we knew we didn't have the right tier for it. 
So we will let this go, and then that will give us, pardon my voice crack there, that'll give us the Apprentice Blood Orb, which is exactly what we need. I hit all the wrong buttons there. There we go. Yep, that'll give us that. It's just going to take some time, and it takes a lot of blood to do it. So you can see it draining down all of the blood there, um, and we might have to add more. I might just add some more in just to be safe. I don't want us to uh, run out. Well, it's making it. I don't want to run into any problems. So once we have that, we are pretty much on the way. We can get this crafted up and have the blank teleporter going. And then we just need to get the dark oak fence. I think that's the last thing we need and the demonic will. I'm sorry. That is the last two things we need, the fence and the demonic will. So we will have to craft snares again. So we are going to have to use tin and some ash. So that's pretty easy to do. And there we go. Okay, cool. We have our Apprentice Blood Orb. So with that, we can come in here and get our blank teleporter. Perfect. Okay, we are well on our way. Oh, raining out. We are well on our way to getting this uh, next progression. But I am just going to throw this away in our chest for now. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? Um, just because I'm a little paranoid, I'm going to throw this stuff in here too. Because I know we need it and I don't really want to lose any of it in case we happen to die. So we have our stone, our coal dust. I believe I have... Yep, right there. Our gunpowder, which we will need. We go in here. Gunpowder. One, two, three, four monolith stones. Coal dust and uh, yep the gunpowder so we just need those last two things and then we will be good to go so what i'll do is i will get this trap going it's a trap um what could i use here i can use some of this stuff i haven't used it in a while so why not utilize it while we can uh, that has no coal in it so that will cook up there did he chop up anything up here Oh, that is not what I wanted. I wanted to look in this chest. He did. We had one last piece of Darklands oak that I was chopping up. And then what we can also do is come down here and grab our charcoal that we had going for a while. So I had this going. We had a ton of wood in there. And that gives us basically two stacks of low-grade charcoal, which is perfect. It's um, I feel like it's a lot... Um, more useful than trying to go out and get coal. It seems to last a little bit longer, and I've explained that before. And you can uh, break it down into charcoal if needed. So we do have that in there. don't think it'll burn through it if I just leave some in there, but I won't leave too much in there because we can always add some. And then we have plenty in there. Perfect. Okay. And I think I was keeping it in here. Yep. One of those left. Cool and cool. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll put the low grade charcoal in here because it is kind of uh, similar to our wood and stuff like that that we've been collecting. What are we doing over here? Yeah, we have plenty of ash now. Plenty of ash ketchup. I'll put that there. I don't think I had. Did I have ash chilling around? I don't think I did. Mm, nope. Uh, yeah, there's definitely nothing in there. Okay. So we do have our ash now, which is cool. To make these, we need tin and then our string, which we should have. We have three pieces of string right here. And then one there, perfect. That's exactly what we needed, right? Or no, 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 those are hemp fibers, not string. I do believe though we have wool hanging out somewhere. Maybe, I hope we didn't get rid of the wool. Or what's it called? Oh, it's not wool. It's, um... Oh, what's it called? It's something different. I'm trying to think of what it's... What it's named. It's like cotton or something like that. Hmm... I'm not seeing any. This is not a good sign. Mud, mud. Got some meat in there. I really should organize this. 
It would make things way easier. I'm not seeing any in there either. Yeah. Some clay clumps. Ah, bummer. Okay, we're going to have to go out and um, <clears throat> get some. So we're going to have to go find some sheep really quick. Almost fell off the side there. But there should be some just chilling out over here. This is where we came last time. Um, and we had found plenty of sheep over here. So hopefully they still are over here. Because we can take what they drop. Perfect. That's what we need. Yes. This white fleece. If I grab our flint work blade, we can make a string out of that. It actually gives us four, which is perfect, because that's exactly how much we need. I hear you, Mr. Zombie. Alright, we're gonna head back to the base. Let's try to craft these bad boys real quickly. Because since it's dark out, we can capture a, uh, a monster right now at night, a mob. Um, we need four of these. Alright, let's go over to the crafting table. Do this. Four of these bad boys. Perfect. Let's eat some food. Alright, cool. That'll help us regen health as well. And we can run back over here and hopefully that zombie's still chilling out. Because that probably would be perfect. Wherever he was. Down here? There he is. Alright. Nope, no white particles. Nothing. Alright. I'm gonna try it on someone else. Oh, we got two guys here. Okay. Try to take him out first. Nope, a little bit of uh, lag there. Oh, he's running. You see how fast he ran? Okay, cool. Got him. We got those little white particles. And we got the essence. Perfect. Okay. We do have one more trap left, but I will hold on to this uh, last snare trap um, in case we do need to grab another uh, demonic will. I believe that's what it's called, right? Yeah, demonic will. So I put this away. Let me just merge everything because we don't need all that stuff. And the demonic will can go right here because we need it for our ritual. Alright, cool bean. We are moving right along, and unfortunately the only thing we need left is the dark oak fence. And we're going to have to go out hunting for that. So I'm going to really quickly try to sleep through the night here, and hopefully gets rid of the rain. And the other thing too, oh he's still not, he's not with me anymore. If you saw, is it, if I hit the, what is it? Hmm. Well, if I go in here, you might have seen I had this. I can't find a jungle. So when I was out and about, there was a parrot and I was able to find some seeds and tame him and he was chilling with me for a while. But unfortunately, he's no longer hanging out with me for whatever reason. I don't know where he went off to, but uh, it's pretty cool. But it was a little bit annoying because um, he did squawk a lot, which was uh, a bit annoying. But anywho. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and try to find Dark Oak because we need that really bad for our next step. And uh, I'm definitely going to try to get some saplings so we can bring it back here and grow it here as well. So I think the plan, like I said, we're going to head out this way and hopefully we can find some stuff. I might go across our bridge actually. Um, and luckily with these boots, we don't get any fall damage, which is kind of nice. Um, let's hop up here. And let's just hop down to our bridge. Okay, so I'm going to go off this way. Hopefully we're able... Ooh. Excuse me. All right. Hopefully we are able to find what we are looking for. There are a few trees. If you look around, that it, they seem like they're dark oak. Like there's this one over here I've seen many times. And this is ironwood. And that's not what we need. So uh, I'm going to just keep traveling. 
this direction see what we can find hopefully we will find oh my lanta hopefully we will find uh some dark oak because we need it desperately so i will be back with you guys once we have so oh look it's a little owl oh that's cute but i'll be back with you guys once we find something all right guys it is not too long later and look what we have found so close to the base too this is exactly what we need and eat a little bit of food here so if i look at our map here that's our house this is where we're at so close and we've spent all that time looking all over the place for these so these are the dark oak wood trees and they are spawned in a two by two format and so we're going to get a lot of this wood and you know it's pretty close to the house but i'm still going to get some uh gonna get some uh, saplings so we can still grow them just in the off chance um, that we have to and or if we don't feel like coming back out here if we move or something like that to a different location I want to make sure that we have some on hand so I'm going to get this together I'm gonna go back to the base and then I am going to get that fence going we are gonna get our ritual finally up and going so I'm gonna spend some time doing this and I will see you guys probably back at the base all right guys we are back and i have everything ready to go i'm back over at our ritual spot and i did notice that it looks like we did have some baddies spawn here because so, we got some ooze over here but it looks like since then it's despawned which is cool and uh once everything charged up we didn't get any lightning strikes anymore and if we take a peek at our necronomicon we have 5,000 out of 5,000 potential energy and for this, we only need a thousand. So we are going to get everything in place then for this ritual. I'm going to place that bad boy there. Um, what else do we need? So if that's there, we need monolith stones on pretty much either side. So boom, 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 boom. I'm remembering correctly. Yep. We need the fence over there and then the gunpowder there. I did make the fence very easy to make. Fence over there. Gunpowder here. Old dust over here. Blank teleporter in the middle. And then we take our Necronomicon and uh shift click maybe. Oh, oh my god. All right, let's stand back just in case some lightning strikes. Yep, lightning strikes. And all of the items on the outside have been consumed. And we get our beneath teleporter. We can take our Necronomicon, throw it back on the charger for the time being, and uh, we'll move away from it just in case it strikes with lightning. So if we take a look at our quest line, it did not give it to us just yet because we need to enter the dimension. So I'm thinking I'll just put this over here maybe. I don't know how many teleporters we're gonna have, so I'll just kind of pick a random spot here. I think that's good. I'm guessing we have to shift click to get into it. Um, and we, oh, we get to keep that, which is nice. I didn't realize that. The apprentice blood orb, we do not lose that. All right. Let's try this. I think we just shift on it. That's not... Oh my god. Okay, what did we just do? What did we just do? Um. Okay, we did something very bad. I don't know what we did. Oh my god, we're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed, fam. We're screwed. It's a food. Keep moving. I don't know what we just did. I think, oh, uh, you know what? I think I completely read it wrong. Oh my God. Wait, what did it say? Place the beneath teleporter and enter the dimension. Well, it spawned a bunch of bad stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it spawned so much bad stuff. Let's go up and get a higher perspective of what the heck we're dealing with. 
I, I thought if we shift clicked it on it that it would uh, take us there, but maybe I was mistaken. Let's come over here, get a good view. All right, yeah, they're all spread out over there. We figure out, maybe if we take a peek, oh, we left our Necronomicon down there like a fool. All right, give me a minute. Let me look up what the heck I just did and we will be right back. All right, guys, so I looked into it a little more um, and I figured out what we need to do. So we definitely do not shift click on it or just shift on it at all. Um, it looks like most of the bad guys have despawned. There's one boy sitting out over there. Um, oh, and there's little fragments hanging out in the water. So I'm guessing a good amount of them drowned, actually. Um, I will definitely pick those up because those will be useful for us down the line. Um, but I think you just click on it. Yes. You just right click on it. You do not have to shift anything on it. So do not do that because that is what I did and it spawned all those bad things. So let's see what we get when we load in here. Hopefully no whammies. It's taking a bit of time since this is just the first time we're getting into it. Oh. It's already sounding amazing here. Oh, and stuff is falling. Please don't fall on us. Ooh, we're lagging hard in here. Everything's loading in. Okay, we got stuff to load in. Ooh. Okay, and I am pretty familiar with this place um, from watching walkthroughs of it, but I believe that gave us the beneath. Perfect. So the next thing we will want to do, I do kind of want to go down this path as well, getting aquamarine um, from the beneath. But the main mission has us getting quartz. And then after quartz, we can get the axle, water wheel, and from there, it is a breeze. However, that'll go, that is going to be in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. It helps me out a lot. Other than that, if you want to follow along with this series, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It lets you know every single time I post a new episode to the channel. Thank you for sticking through till the end. I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.